Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to C Interactive. In today's Marvelous Designer course, we will learn about simulation properties. So to access simulation properties, you can right click and go to simulation properties and it will pop up. Or what you can do is that simply you can just click it and it go to simulation properties. Uh, and you will have the simulation properties here. Here in the simulation properties, we can save any property that we want and then we can open it okay so suppose if you are using multiple properties and you use it most of the time so in for that case the first thing we have here time step now time step is right now 0 0.0333 seconds simulation quality is one you can change this one if you want faster or slower or if your computer is uh very slow so you can uh you know in uh you can decrease or increase like uh, time step accordingly quality also now cg finish condition i have here iteration so apart from iteration i have here residual so what i do is that when i finish my simulation okay so it actually reacts with some of the algorithm here now how we can control those is through that if i can change this the uh, like if i will change it to the residual so it will keep it a little bit high as a quality okay so you can see that it is moved to the uh, normal i will go back to the uh, so gpu so when i go back to the gpu it turns back this to iterations now iteration count is 50. you can decrease it to make it more faster or increase it to make it a little bit the quality higher now this you can uh calculate if you are using uh, if you can adjust it if you're using the default uh, like the residual the uh default one okay now self collision uh iteration count is one what is the self collision if I collide with two uh, garments together or uh, they are colliding themselves the, like uh, here. So you can see sometimes it produces this sort of, sort of an artifact. So I have to pull it. So that can be uh, fixed okay, by using the self collision uh, iteration count. Like suppose if I will make it five, this is too high okay and it will automatically move here you will always see if whenever you change the quality it will always move to the regular one and you can see now it's not creating that issue i don't have to pull it even if i i make it very strong move automatically it stays there for a while and then it moves down by itself but if i do it more or like aggressively then only this appears but not as uh, like re regular part like uh, like as not as it was happening in the gpu okay so go back here to simulation properties and then i will turn this back to uh one okay and then i have here air damping air damping if you are simulating and you want the environment to act like it's damp there was a rain or there is a moisture so it will make clothes react a little different so that's you can uh control here with the air damping and can in, you can increase or decrease you can increase or decrease the uh moisture in the air like suppose if i'll make it 10 which is quite higher and you can see how the clothes are reacting with that part okay like it would do it would do it during the rain or uh, something uh different okay so i'll keep it as it is now gravity at this point the gravity is a regular gravity okay let me fix this so we can check the gravity clearly so at the point this is the regular gravity minus 9800 so let me copy this 
in case if I change this. Now, if I will uh, go more, uh, like if I will make the gravity more stronger, like suppose I will add one more zero here so you can see clothes become more heavy. Okay. And you can see the pressure point, it's becoming more heavy. If I turn on the pressure points, so you will notice uh, like, uh, like what sort of a effect it is producing here. Uh, where is the pressure point? I think somewhere here. Okay. So. Yeah, here it is. And then you can see the pressure point, how strong of like, how strongly it's reacting. There is a lot of pressure points now as compared to what it was before. So if I will go to the simulation properties now, and instead of uh, this value, if I will make it zero, that means he's in the space. There is no gravity at all. And you can see how the pressure points are reacting. Okay. And if I will increase it more, so it will act, uh, the, uh, these, uh, like the garment will act like it's in, uh, in the, like it's, it's like a air balloon or it's filled with helium and it's flying in the air. So for example, if I will increase it to five, okay, simulate it. So just, uh, yeah. Okay, you can see it's kind of uh, stays there. There is no air, there is no air resistance. And that's uh, how it re reacts with it. I have, copy I have already copied the value, so I will paste that back and it goes normal. Okay. Now here I have a number of CPU in use. So it's using uh, seven GPU, CPU, uh, like uh, seven numbers because I have like seven threads. And then here I have non-linear simulation. Uh, basically, if you want to do a, uh, a non-linear uh, linear sim like simulation, I, uh, I uh, actually I do not have much idea about this, what this is used for, but it's there if you, if if you want to use that and so for some purposes okay this is for the ground part this is triangle uh, like all these are for uh, the collision among the edges among the vertices among the uh, like polygon faces so this is more technical and if you want to control this uh, you, you can easily control that so this is uh, more what we have inside our Marvelous Designer Simulation Properties. So if you guys uh, have uh, understood everything and you have uh, liked this video and uh, you have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon as well. And to support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. But take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute.